Here we go. I'll tap back into the game. Here we go. Let's go. I don't remember where I was. Ah, I was at High Harakura, apparently. What was I doing is the question. What? I'm the Claude Lucian. I'm the owner. I have to meet Delphine, okay. Need no more side quests. We might do them later. I'll leave them on for now. Good. Eh. I haven't gone out of my way to collect any quests. So we'll meet Duffy and Ravenwood, sure. Or Ravenwood. Riverwood. I can read. Hold on, did I never loot this place? I never looted this place. I'm, I'm gonna go looking for all the flowers. I remember there being loads of them. Ooh. Story time. The ruins of Kemel... Kemel Z? With the acclamations of the fellows of the Imperial Society still ringing in my ears, I decided to return to Morrowind immediately. It was not without some regret that I bade farewell to the flesh spots of the Imperial City. But I knew that the wonders that I had brought back from Relid Mekai had only scratched the surface of the Drummer ruins in Morrowind. Even more spectacular treasures were waiting out there, I felt, just waiting to be found, and I was eager to be off. I had also had before me the sal salutary example of poor Bannerman, who was still dining out of his single expedition to Black Marsh twenty years ago. That would never be me, I vowed. With my letter from the Empress in hand, this time, I would have the full cooperation of the, of the Imperial authorities. No more need to worry about attacks from superstitious locals. But where should I look next? The ruins at Camelze were the ob obvious choice. Unlike Relid Mackay, getting to the ruins would not be a problem. Also known as the Cliff City, Camelze lies on the main inside of the, Var the Vardenfell Rift, sprawling down the sheer coastal cliff. Travelers from the east coast of Arvenfell often visit the site by boat, and it can also be reached over land from nearby villages without undue hardship. Once my expedition had assembled in Sejanin, with the usual tedious complications involved in operating in this half-civilized land, we set out for the village of Marag near the ruins, where we hoped to find a party of diggers. My interpreter, Tuen Denai, an unusually jolly fellow for a dark elf who I had hired that might be a P. Henai. I had hired in said Sedanin at the recommendation of the local garrison commander assured me that the local villagers would be very familiar with Kimmel Z, uh, having looted the site for generations. Incidentally, Ten Tenpenny, as we soon came to call him, to his constant amusement, uh, proved invaluable, and I would recommend him without hesitation to any of my colleagues who are planning similar expedi expeditions to the w wilds of Morrowind. At Morag, we ran to our first trouble. The hetman of the village, a, re a reserved, elegant old fellow, seemed willing to cooperate, but the local priest, a representative of the absurd religion they have here, worshipping something called the Tribunal, who they claim to actually live in the palaces of Morrowind was fervent, fervently against the ex us ex excavating the ruins. 
He looked likely to sway the villagers to his side with his talk of religious taboos, but I waved the Empress's letter under his nose and mentioned something about my friend, the garrison commander, Ed Sato Neen, and he quieted right down. No doubt this was just a standard negotiating tactic arranged among the villagers to increase their pay. In any event, once the priest had stalked off muttering to himself, no doubt, no doubt calling down curses upon the heads of the foreign devils, we soon had a line of villagers eager to sign on to the expedition. While my assistant was working out the mundane details of contracts, supplies, etc., Master Aram and I rode, rode on to the mines. By land, they can only be reached using the narrow paths that wind down the face of the cliff from above, where any misstep threatens to send one tumbling into the sea, foaming about the jagged rocks below. The city's original entrance to the surface must have been the part of the city to the northeast, the part that fell into the sea long ago, when the eruption of the Red Mountain created this mind-bogglingly vast crater. After successfully navigating the treacherous path, we found ourselves in a large chamber open to the sky on one side, disappearing into the darkness on the, f on the other. As we stepped forward, our boots crunched on piles of broken metal, as common in dwarven mines as pot shards in other ancient sites. This was obviously where looters brought their finds from deeper levels, stripping off the valuable outer casings of the dwarven mechanisms, and leaving their innards here, easier than lugging the intact mechanisms back up to the top of the cliff. I laughed to myself, thinking of how many warriors unwittingly walked around Tamriel with pieces of dwarven mechanisms on their backs. For that, of course, is what most dwarven armor really is, just the armored shells of ancient mechanical men. I sobered when I thought of how exceedingly valuable an intact mechanism would be. This place was obviously full of dwarven devices, judging from the litter covering the floor of this vast chamber. Or it had been, I reminded myself. Looters have been working over this site for centuries. Just the casing alone would be worth a small fortune sold as armor. Most dwarven armor is made of mismatched pieces of various devices, hence its reputation for being bulky, bulky and unwieldy. But a match set from an intact mechanism is worth more than its weight in gold, for the pieces all fit together smoothly, and the wearer hardly notices the bulk. Of course, I had no intention of destroying my finds for armor, no matter how valuable. I would bring it back to the Society for Scientific Study. I imagined the astonished cries of my colleagues as I unveiled it at my next lecture, and smiled again. I picked up a discarded gear from the piles at my feet. It still green gleamed brightly as if new made and the dwarven allies resisted, resisted the corrosion over time. I wonder what secrets remained hidden in the maze of chambers that lay before me, defying the efforts of looters, waiting to gleam again in the light they had not seen in eons, waiting for me. It m remained only to find them. With an impatient gesture to Master Aram to follow, I strode forward into the gloom. Master Aram... Aram, Tenpenny, and I spent several days exploring the ruins while my assistants set up camp at the top of the cliff and hauled supplies and equipment from the village. I was looking for a promising area to begin excavation, a blocked passage or a corridor untouched by looters that might lead, lead, uh, that might lead to completely untouched areas of the ruins. We found two such areas early on, but soon discovered the many winding passages, bypassed the ba blockage, and gave access to the rooms behind. Nevertheless, even these outer areas, for the most part stripped clean of artifacts by generations of looters, were full of interest to a professional archaeologist. Behind a massive bronze door, burst from its hinges by some ancient turmoil of the earth, hang on, I need to blow up my candle, Ancient turmoil of the earth, we discovered a large chamber filled with exquisite wall carvings, which impressed even even the jaded Tenpenny, who claimed to have explored many dwarven ruins in Morrowind. They seemed to depict on an ancient ritual of some kind, the long line of classically bearded dwarven elders processing down the side walls, all seemingly bowing to the giant form of a god carved into the front wall of the chamber which was caught in the act of stepping forth from the crater in the mountain, in a cloud of smoke or steam. According to Master Aram, there was no, no known depictions of dwarven religious rituals, so this was an exciting find indeed. I set a team to work, priming the carved panels from the walls, but they were unable to even crack the surface. 
On closer examination, the chamber appeared to be faced with a metallic substance with a texture and feel of stone, impervious to any of our tools. I considered having Master Arum try his blasting magic on the walls, but decided the risk of destroying the carvings was too great. Much as I would have preferred to bring them back to the Imperial City, I had to settle for taking rubbings of the carvings. If my colleagues in the society showed enough interest, I was sure a specialist could be found, perhaps a master alchemist who could find a way to safely remove the panels. Hi, Acha. It's story time. Uh, we're reading a book from a uh, an archaeologist from Morrowind. Uh, I found another curious room at the top of the long, winding stair, barely passable due to the fall of rubble from the roof. At the top of the stair was a domed chamber with a large ruined mechanism at its center. Painted const constellations were still visible in some places on the surface of the dome. Master Arm and I agreed that this must have been some kind of observato observatory, and the mechanism was therefore the remains of a dwarven telescope. To remove it from the ruins down the narrow stairway would require its complete disassembly, which, which fact no doubt had preserved it from the attention of looters, so I decided to leave it in place for the time being. The existence of this observatory suggested, however, that this room had once been close to the surface. Closer examination of the structure revealed that this was indeed a building, not an excavated chamber. The only other doorways from the room were completely blocked, and careful mes measurements from the top of the cliff to the entry room and then to the observatory revealed that we were still more than 250 feet below the present ground level. A sobering reminder of the forgotten fury of Red Mountain. Uh, this discovery led us to focus our attentions downward. Since we now knew approximately where the ancient surface lay, we could rule out many of the higher blocked passages. One wide passage, impressively flanked with carven, carven pillars, particularly drew my interest. It ended in a massive rock fall, but we could see where looters had begun and then abandoned a tunnel through the debris. With my team of dis diggers and Master Arm's ma majory to assist, I believed we could succeed where our predecessors had failed. I therefore set my team of dark elves to work on clearing the passage, relieved finally to be beginning the real exploration of Kemal Z. Soon, I hoped, my boots would be stirring up dust that had lain undisturbed since the dawn of time. With this exciting prospect before me, I may have driven my diggers a bit too hard. Tenpenny reported me reported that they were beginning to grumble about the long days, and that some were talking of quitting. Knowing from experience that nothing puts the heart back for these dark elves like a taste of the lash, I had the ringleaders whipped and the rest confined to the ruins until they had finished cleaning the passageway. Uh, thanks, Stendar, for my foresight and requisitioning the, a few legionnaires from Sedanee. Seda they were sullen at first, but with the promise of an extra day's wages when they broke through, they soon set to work with a will. While these measures may sound harsh to my readers back in the comforts of civilization, let me assure you that this, there is no other way to get these people to stick to a task. The blockage was much worse than I at first thought. Yeah. <laughs> and in the end, it took almost two weeks to clear the passage. The diggers were as excited as I was when their picks finally broke through the far end of the infinite of for, through the far end into emptiness, and we shared a round of the local liquor together, a foul concoction, in truth, to show that all was forgiven. I could hardly restrain my eagerness as they enlarged the hole to allow entry into the chamber beyond. Would this patch, passage lead to an entire new levels of the ancient city, filled with artifacts left by the vanished dwarves, or would it be a dead end, some side passage leading, leading nowhere? My excitement grew as I slipped through the hole and crouched for a moment in the darkness beyond. From the echoing sounds of the stones rattling beneath my feet, I was in a, I was in a very large room. Perhaps very large. I stood up carefully and unhooded my lantern. As the light flooded the chamber, I looked around in astonishment. Here were wonders beyond my wildest dreams. As the light from my lamp filled the chamber beyond the rock fall, I looked around in astonishment. Everywhere was the warm glitter of dwarven alloys. I had found an untouched section of the ancient city. My heart pounded with excitement. I looked around me. The room was vast, the roof soaring up into the darkness beyond the reach of my lamp, 
the far end lost in shadows with only a tantalizing glimmer, hinting at the treasures not yet revealed. Along each wall stood rows of mechanical men, intact except for one oddity. Their heads had been ritually removed and placed on the floor but at their feet. This could mean only one thing. I had discovered the tomb of a great dwarven, dwarven noble, maybe even a king. Burials, burials of this type had been discovered before, most famously by Ransom's expedition to Hammerfell, but no completely intact tomb had ever been found until now. But this was a truly a royal burial. But if this was truly a royal burial, where was the tomb? I stepped forward gingerly, the rows of, of headless bodies standing silently as they had for eons, their disembodied eyes seeming to watch me as I passed. I had heard wild tales of the curse of the dwarves, but I had always laughed it off as a superstition, but now, breathing the same air as the mysterious builders of this city, which had lain undisturbed since the cataclysm that spelled their doom, I felt a twinge of fear. There was some power here, I felt, something male something malevolent that resented my, pres my presence. I stopped for a moment and listened. All was silent, except I s it seemed I heard a faint hiss, regular as breathing. I fought down the sudden surge of panic. I was unarmed, not thinking danger in my haste to explore the past the blocked passage. Sweat dripped down my face as I scampered in the gloom for any movement. Honestly, it kind of deserves it. <laughs> the room was warm, I suddenly noticed, much warmer than the rest of the labyrinth thus far. My excitement returned. Could I have found a section of the city still connected to the functioning steam grid? Pipes ran along the walls, as in all sections of the city. I walked over and placed my hand on one. It was hot, almost too hot to touch. Now I saw that in places where the ancient piping had been corroded, small jets of steam were escaping. The sound I had heard. I laughed at my own cred cred credulity. I can't say that word. We're just going to move on. I now advanced quickly to the far end of the room, giving a cheerful salute to the rank ranks of mechanical soldiers who had appeared so menacing only moments before. I smiled with triumph as the light, sw light swept back the darkness of centuries to reveal the giant effigy of a dwarven king standing on a raised dais, his metal hand clutching his rod of office. This was the prize indeed. I circled the dais slowly, admiring the craft craftsmanship of the ancient dwarves. The golden king t stood twenty feet tall under a freestanding domed cup cupola? cupola? His long, unswept beard jutting forward proudly as his glittering metal eyes seemed to follow me. But my superstitious mood had passed, and I gazed benevolently on the old dwarven king. My king, as I had already begun to think of him. I stepped under the dais to get a better look at the sculpted armor. Suddenly, the eyes of the figure opened, and it raised a mailed fist to strike. I leaped to one side as the golden arm came crashing down, striking sparks from the steps where I had stood a moment before. With a hiss of steam and a whir of gears, the giant figure stepped ponderously out from under its canopy and strode toward me with a frightening speed, its eyes tracking me as I scrambled backwards. I dodged behind a pillar as the fist whistled down again. I had dropped my lantern in the confusion, and now I crept into the darkness outside the pool of light, hoping to slip between the headless mechanisms and thus escape back to the safety of the passageway. Where had the monster gone? You would think that a twenty-foot golden king would be kind of hard to miss, but he was nowhere to be seen. The guttering lamp only illuminated a small part of the room. He could be hiding anywhere in the gloom. I crawled faster. Without warning, the dim ranks of dwarven soldiers in front of me went flying as a monstrous garden guardian loomed before me. He had cut off my escape. As I dodged backwards, blow after blow whistled down as the impe implicable impli Implic no, mm, I don't know. Followed me relentlessly, driving me into the far corner of the room. At last, there was nowhere left for me to go. My back was to the wall. I glared up at my foe, determined to die on my feet. The huge fist lifted for one final blow. The room blazed with sudden light. Bolts of purple energy cracked across the metal ca carapace of the dwarven monster, and it halted, half turning to meet this new threat. Master Arum had come. I was about to raise a cheer when the giant turned back to me, unharmed by the lightning bolt hurled by Master Aram, determined to destroy his first intruder. 
I started, shouted out, Steam! Steam! As the giant raised his fish to crush me to the floor. There was a hiss and a gust of bitter cold, and I looked up. The monster was now covered with a shell of ice, frozen in the very moment of dispatching me. Master Arm had understood. I leaned against the wall with relief. The ice cracked above me. The giant golden king stood before me, the shell of ice falling away, its head swiveling toward me in triumph. Was there no stopping this dwarven monstrosity? But then the light faded from his eyes, and his arm dropped to his, to his sides. The ma magical frost had worked, cooling its steam-driven dri energy. As Master Aram and the diggers crowded around me, congratulating me on my narrow escape, my thoughts drifted. I imagined my return to the Imperial City, and I knew this would be my greatest triumph yet. How could I possibly top this find? Perhaps it was time to move on, recovering the fabled Eye of Argonia. Now that would be a coup. I smiled to myself, reveling in the glory of the moment, but already planning my next venture. That was longer than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, I have a new book now. <laughs> I'm just looking around High Harothgar. Sometimes there's flowers hidden in the corners. New book pog. Ooh, cheese. We'll take it, but I don't want to read it right now. Is this one a story? Take that one, too. God, I don't want to read that. the kids version <laughs> fair enough I'm just stealing all their food I don't think I've ever paid for food in this game before this oh it's about Cyrodiil egg give 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 dragon's tongue thank you Just casually hanging out with your, with your skull. I take your death bell. Money. I don't want to read Uriel Septim. That sounds just. That just sounds dreary. No thanks. Ooh. Void salt. Everyone loves a good void salt. Oh. There's a flower in there. Is there anything else in here that I can't see? No.
Alright, that's all I care about looting. <laughs> Out we get. It's time to go sneaky, I think, because I'm pretty sure we're doing the Thalmor mission now. It's Thalmor mission time. I get to be a sneaky boy. Do I have a sucker? I do. I have a blue Jolly Rancher, that's close enough. Okay. Okay, and we fast travel because I'm not walking. Uh, Ripwood. Okay. Kind of. Just a little bit, you know. Oh, hey, these guys are still dead here. Go talk to Delphine. Can I like sleep in a bed first? Yeah, we're gonna sleep in a bed first. Hang on, Delphine. Saving the world can wait 10 hours. <laughs> I'm a growing boy. I'm just a little guy. I figured out how they're going to get you once Thalmor comes. Sick, let's go. That would be a bad idea. I could see my complete lack of honor being a reason. I don't want to ruin it. So what's your plan? The Thalmor and Darkseid come in, regularly plague Tyrus for resisting Thalmor's field march to the Tower. I can get you into one of those towers. Once you're inside the Oracle, you can get away into an unknown and secret passage. I have a contact inside the Oracle. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission for a young man. His name is Mal Brown. Widow. Plenty of reason to hold the guy up. You can trust him. Okay. I'll get word for him to meet you in Tower. Why would I know it? That, I'll work on getting you an invitation to the Thalmor and Darkseid Tower. Meet I'm going to have to walk all the way to Solitude. Any questions? Many. You sure I can Don't trust him? He's not a dangerous kind of guy. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a widow. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in the Valley War during one of their purges for Thalmor Dominion. Luckily, they don't know who he really is. Or he wouldn't be serving purges for anyone else. <laughs> uh, how am I going to get into the party? You'll have a real invitation to talk to him. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor soldier, you'll get by with it. You put a lot of faith in me, but okay. Once I'm inside the embassy, then what? You'll have to slip away from the party without raising any alarm. Oh, I'm great at sneak. I just noticed your potions. I'm taking them. They're mine now. I'm just I'm just taking all of your shit. Yeah. 
Yep, this is all mine now. Oh. I have learned things. Oh. Just stealing all of Delphine's things. This is fine. Rise and fall to place. We'll take that and read it later. I actually really like Spin's stuff. He sing well. Uh, I don't need this dagger. I don't need this either. I don't know why I have it. Sick. I want to enchant my... I want to. Oh yeah, I was. I, I'm wearing the other one. Oh yeah, I I need. Yeah, I forgot how enchanting works in this. I need to buy an enchantment. Ooh. I'm gonna get drunk. This is gonna, this is gonna, go, gonna be good. What is this? Ooh, Thieves Guild. I'm very well learned. For a cat. There we go. If this was stealing, not my problem. Why- why is she just- okay. Sure. Pop off, queen. Uh, wasn't I supposed to find a dude? I was supposed to find a dude. Where's the guy? Well, speak of the devil, here he is. You mean this golden claw? Strange. It's a few smaller than I need. <laughs> Same thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll never forget it. It's done a great thing for me and my crew. No problem, bro. You gave me 400 gold for that. All right, cool. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I think that's everything I need. <gasps> dog! Hold on, we have to talk to the dog. Yes. Yeah, good boy. Child, I could eviscerate you. Dog. Okay. You'll be mad, and I'll kill you. Not a little old slut. Dude, everybody is... Hey, you want to play a game? You want it? All right. You pick. Can I explore hide and seek? Um, uh, hide and seek.
Yeah, I'm totally not peeking. Okay, I'm not detected by the child. Where'd he go? He is. Uh, I got wine. Okay. Get me mad and I'll break it. I'm not a little old slut. Gee, I wonder why that's an option. I have a feeling I'll need to give him something to drink eventually. Alright, I was going to solitude, wasn't I? Solitude. Um, let's hope I can get a carriage at the White Run Stable for Solitude. I need solitude. Alright. I didn't know about this when I first started playing. I won't lie. I had no idea that this was a thing that I could do. So I walked to all the areas and was like, wow, why is this story so slow? very intelligent. Ah. You so wilfully pull your own weight. A well spent day is better than one spent in vain. Kajit has wares if I have coin. How may I serve you? Wow, you echo me. You saw it there, that one about death and coffee. The powers of transportation. Dude, it really makes the game a lot more fun when when you have public transportation. I think maybe the U.S. should learn something from this. <laughs> what do you got? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Very nice. Uh, I need one of these. I need to be able to add that to a, a weapon. What do you got? I'm looking for boots. 
None of these are boots. Have you considered boots? Minor sure grip. Ooh. Those are useful. That is a lot of gold. I need to start reading those. What do I have to sell? Well, this sucks. Alright, that's fine. I like him. Thank you. Oh, well that's not, that's not foreboding at all, thanks. To solitude. Ah. Wow, Vivian's a bitch. I love how many people are here, and how you only hear, like, two boos. I have said, I go to find her. I don't think that's how heads work. Yeah, yeah. You want to hold hands? What the hell? You're welcome, bro. Good God. Wow. Bro, I've been here ten minutes. What the hell? Man says, like, you just walked through the fucking door. But listen, you look at me wrong, I'm cutting your head off. No questions asked. Hello. Feel free to make your point. Oh, no. Let's just keep it grounded by good music, good drink, and good friends is all I've ever asked for. Fair enough. Rumors? You 
to talk to Corporal about some how he did see a visitor on the street and he says it's a great job. She just has a nice voice. Wow, chill, bro. Yeah, we're gonna have to give up. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe we don't weigh those. <laughs> um. This. This, this, I don't remember how much I can give him. No, oh, I didn't mean to use that. Use that. There we go. Scrolls. Don't really need food. Oh. Okay, bye. That still looks really sick. If only there weren't cultist robes. <laughs> An Argodian. Ah, sure. Alright. Nope. Okay, I'll take him off. I 
I am going to put on my pretty circlet, though. Just for fun. Hell yeah. Okay, anyway. Wait. Am I still wearing Diabella's pendant? I am. Nah, I guess I don't need that. I, I forgot that it's speechcraft. Okay. Thank you. Bye. I think I can... I think this is with all the DLC, so I should be able to adopt children, I just realized. Ah, mouse, please. Kindly work. Sick, where do I go? Meet Delphine in the stables. Gotcha. Meeting Delphine at the stables. Yup. I knew that. Khajiit with no clothes, what will he do? Bro, I didn't even get a chance to put the stuff on yet. Am I fancy? Oh, you want me to take off my, my pretty tiara? I can't believe you'd do this to me. Uh, I'm ready. Keep the rest of my things safe. Sure. No problem, bro. Let's go. Time to go kill some Thalmor. Thanks. You seem very classy. Sure. I'm gonna go now. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I was just looking at the courtyard. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellen. Could you talk to my face? Of course. 
Yeah, I told you before not to bother with this stuff in private. Mm. Yes, I can tell. My apologies. We'll have to get better to change this later. Please enjoy. Look at help. Of course. We can have another bottle. I'll be waiting by the door as soon as I can stand. Oh, I forget how you do this. Oh, why is her last name Ravencrone? That's so mean. I actually like this one. Okay. All right then. Oh, she's a Jarl. I didn't see that. I hope you're enjoying yourself, boy. I I don't I don't want anything from you. Sounds kind of like Adam West. You must be new to Skyrim, and you've already known who I am. I don't claim to know anything of importance. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past and let peace and prosperity flourish between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Try to get between you and me. He sounds a lot like Adam West. I'll have to look up who all voice acts this. Hang on. I, I want to know how how he managed to sound so much like Adam West. You got some Trump vibes going on, so. Was there anything else I could do for you? Gross. What does a fellow need to do for a drink? about to bring this man a drink. Well. Thank you. Lick 
hospitals. I love that he's saying it right next to this guard, and she's just not gonna. Is that all? <laughs> you should send me a thousand of these. Stand back and hold my hand. <laughs> She's just booking over there. You just eat a sack of flour? <laughs> Sorry, got distracted. Oh, he's waiting for me to actually put my things on. Gotcha. Oh, this is a cool mask. <laughs> We're just gonna have unrelenting force as our shout. This is just like... Favorite. Is my weapon still? Okay, good. Got it. I need to walk through the door. Understood. Good luck. Two-way trade. Yeah, you're all got one job. There's a witch. I will do anything to keep you in business. Ah, I think I might have been spotted. Oh. My game just crashed. What the fuck? Well, 
I guess we'll see where we're at. Steam, what are you doing? Bruh. Come on. Why do you do this? I don't care about the Steam Cloud. Just open Elder Scrolls. Ah. Maybe it'll pick it back up. Hopefully. Aha! We're back. Oh, let's see where we're at. I don't know when the last quick save was, but it was probably solitude. Oh. Well, it was here. I don't believe we've met. I don't believe we've met. brings you to this precisely what is it now then this is just what we got out of the outdoor bar you are not a commissioned agent of fortune you have been going to your death i told you before not to bother me with such trifles yes my friend deja vu yeah don't worry you must have ran into that imperial bat <laughs> imperial ambush like the rest of us <laughs> Okay. There's nobody to hunt down the bandits. Now, if I can bring you some rope to anchor in this damn ship, here you go, sir. Polovian brandy. Thank you. Better see ya. I don't think our homeland the hospitality is the cup of tea either. There's some funny that fellow named the Duke that drinks his cup of tea. Good news. Oh, she's moonwalking there. Boy, the game does not like anything tonight. I can hardly wait. When to turn off my closed captions? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, got it. Hang on, putting things on. Mm, yeah. Yep, yep. Mm 
meow, 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 meow. Can I just... <laughs> Why did the caption say that I said meow? <laughs> oh, can you do this all on sneaking? I have brute forced this every time I've done it. Death. <laughs> Meow. Mm. I wonder. I don't know if they're all like high alert right now. Wow, their light armor sucks. You know what? We're gonna... Yeah, we're just... We're gonna go with what I was already wearing. We're gonna just kill everyone. No. What was that? The game is being really twitchy. Like 
dresses you can give to kids. Let's see. Enemies are that way. What's this door lead to? Ah, I am not meant to do anything with that. I don't think everybody is, like, aware of me right now, though. So I wonder, if I put on their stuff, I don't think I look Thalmor enough, but I also don't know if going back will fix anything. I think there was a helmet or a hood. Let's go look. Yeah, I think you're supposed to go here. If you wanted a sneaky way. Hold on. There's no helmet. Everyone has at least has a helmet. We'll give it a shot. Yeah, it doesn't work. Doesn't work. Moving on. Death. Oh, hey, hold on, though. Give me... Why do you have a he why do you have a hood? Oh, hooded Thalmor robes. That would just make sense now, wouldn't it? Uh, we have those. Okay. I mean, at least it has a hood on it. Ah. Are you okay? Just trying to figure out if I if anything was working or not. Don't you worry, I don't really need it. 
I do, however, need some potions. Death. Who else wants some? Hehehehe. <laughs> Meow. You die. Oh wait, I can loot your bodies. Ooh. I love petty soul gems. Who else am I murdering? Ooh, berries. Don't know who you are. Surely this won't backfire on me. <laughs> oh, sorry. That took me off guard. Okay. I am so good. Ooh, is that a health potion? Oh, he had he had cheese. Mass paralysis, spell to him calm. Ooh. What else is there? Oh. Uh, thief of virtue. Potion of health. Ooh, glow salt. Void salt. Lavender. I don't have any lock picks. Oh, I didn't bring any. That does put a damper on things, doesn't it? Any lock picks hanging around? But it's a tiara. Like, why did you have extra clothes? Sweet roll. Hmm. 
Those look tasty. I want a drum. I'm taking the drum. The drum's mine now. Cabbages. Avoid salt. Alright. I think. I think I have to go down there. Yeah, I gotta go down there, but I also need to get other documents first, I think. Ooh, there's more cheese. The cake and the diamond. I was in the Rat in the Pot, a foreigner p corner pub, corner club, in Aldrin. Taking, talking to my fellow rats when I first saw the woman. Now, Brayton women are fairly common in the Rat in the Pot. As a breed, they seem inclined to wander far from their perches in High Rock. Old Brayton women, however, are not so migratory, and the wizened old Biddy drew attention to herself, wandering about the room, talking to everyone. Nimrov and Oidad. We're at the usual places, drinking the usual stuff. Oy Dad was showing off a prize he had picked up from some illicit manner. A colossal diamond as large as a baby's hand, and as clear as spring water. I was admiring it when I heard the creaking of old bones behind me. Good day to you, friends, the old woman. My name is Abel Chidet. Chidet? And I am in need of financial assistance to facilitate my transportation to Aldredinia. You'll want to see the temple for charity, said Nimlov curtly. I'm not looking for charity, said said Abel. I'm looking for barter services. Don't make me sick, old woman, laughed Oedad. And did you say your name was Abel... Abel... Tridit? I asked. Are you related to Abel Tridit, the high rock al alchemist? Closely related, she said, with a cackle. We are the same person. Perhaps I could prepare you a potion. In exchange for gold? I notice that you have in your possession a very fine diamond. The magical qualities of diamonds are boundless. Sorry, old woman, I ain't giving it up for magic. It was trouble enough stealing this one, said Oidad. I've got a fence who will trade it for gold. But your fence will demand a certain percentage, will he not? What if I could give you a potion of, of invisibility in exchange? In return for that diamond, you could have the means to, to steal many more. A very fair exchange of services, I would say. It would be. But I have no gold to give you, said Oidad. I'll take what remains of the diamond after I've made the potion, said Abel. If you took it to the Mage's Guild, you'd have to supply all the ingredients and pay for it as well. But I learned my craft in the wild, where no potion makers existed, to dissolve diamonds into dust. When you must do it all by hand, by simple skill, you are blessed with remnants of those of remnants those full potion makers of the guild simply swallow up. That sounds all very nice, said Nimlov, but how do we know your potion is going to work? If you make w one potion, take the rest of Oidad's diamond, and leave, we won't know until you've gone whether the potion works or not. Ah, uh, trust is so rare these days, sighed Abel. I suppose I could make two potions for you, and there'd still be a little bit of diamond left for me. Not a, not a lot, but perhaps enough to get me to Alverdinia. And then you could try the first potion here and now, and see if you're satisfied or not. But, I interjected, you can make one potion that works and one that doesn't, and take more of the diamond. She could even give you select and poison. By the time that she got to Alredinia, you'd be dead. Bleed and Kirineth, you, you Dunmer are suspicious. 
I will hardly have any diamond left, but I could make two potions of two doshas each, so you can satisfy yourself that the potion works and has no negative effects. If you still don't trust me, come along with me to my table and witness my craft if you'd like. So it was decided that I would accompany Abel back to her table, where she had all her traveling bags full of herbs and minerals, to make certain she was not making two different potions. It took nearly an hour of preparation, but she kindly allowed me to finish her half-filled flagon of wine while I watched her work. Splintering the diamond and powdering the pieces required the bulk, bulk of the time. Over and over she, again she waved her gnarled hands over the gem, intoning ancient enchantments, breaking the facets of the stone into smaller and smaller pieces. Separately she made pastes of mince bitter green, crushed red bulbs of dark of spay, and driblets of silanani sil sil oil. I finished the wine. Old woman, I finally said with a sigh, how much longer is this going to take? I'm getting tired of watching you work. The mage's guild has fooled the populace into thinking alchemy is assignment. It's a science, she said. But if you're tired, rest your eyes. My eyes closed, seemingly of their own volition, but there had been something in that wine. Something that made me do what she asked. I'll think I'll make up the potion as cakes. It's much more potent that way. Now tell me, young man. What will your friends do once I give them the potion? Mug you in the streets afterward to retrieve the rest of the diamond, I said simply. I didn't want to tell the truth, but there it was. I thought so, but I wanted to be certain. You may open your eyes. I opened my eyes. A bell had made a small presentation on a wooden platter. Two small cakes and a silver cutting knife. Pick up the cakes and take them to the table and don't say anything, except to agree with whatever I say. I did as I was told. It was a curious sensation. I didn't really mind being her puppet. Of course, in retrospect, I resent it, but it seemed perfectly natural at the time to obey without question. Abel handed the cakes to Oedad, and I dutifully verified that both cakes were made the same way. She suggested that he, he cut one of the cakes in half, and she would take one piece, and he would take the other, just so he would know that they worked and weren't poisoned. Oedad thought it was a good idea and used Abel's knife to cut the cake. Abel took the piece on the left and popped it into her mouth. Oida took the piece on the right and swallowed it more cautiously. Adele and all the bags she carry was carrying vanished from sight almost instantly. Nothing happened to Oida. Why did it work for the witch and not for me? Because the diamond dust was only on the left-hand side of the blade, said the old alchemist through me. I, could fel I felt her control lessening as the distance grew, and she hurried invisibly down the dark Aldrin street from the rat in the pot. We never found Adele, Adele or the diamond, Abel or the diamond. <laughs> Whether she completed her pilgrimage to Aldrinia is anyone's guess. The cake had no effect ex except to give Oidad a bad case of the drops that lasted nearly a week. Okay. Anyway, story time over. Okay, I'm going to read the rest of the documents, and I think I have to come back here anyway. Oh, am I not supposed to go that way? Hold on, what are my objective... object... object... <coughs> what are my objectives right now? Oh. So wait, I found the information though. Did I miss some? Do you want me to read them? We anticipate a breakthrough in our efforts to uncover the party or power behind the dragon resurrection phenomenon. An informant has ident identified a possible lead, whom we have brought back to the embassy for a full interrogation. The subject is obstinate, but by all indications is holding back the information we, sp we seek. I have authorized... It, uh, manual uncoiling. I do not expect more than more will be necessary, unless you feel time presses. I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. I will inform you immediately when the subject is fully receptive. Two days should tell the tale. In the meantime, if you wish to audit our technique, your expertise is welcome as always. I have placed the... Uh, 
prisoner in the cell closest to your office stairs for your convenience. How nice. Oh, this is just about Delphine. And about Ulfric. Okay. Do I have a new objective? Hello? Alright. Is there... Is this a different... I don't think this is a different door. No. Was I supposed to look through back through the rest of this? I guess I can still do that. I think the only way to actually like ruin this mission is to die. Oh, I didn't want that. I think I already, I didn't search all of these. You can tell by the cold that's still in them. Oops. Oh. I found a new area. Go this way first. Well, that looks edgy. Hmm. Ooh, soul gem. This was worth it. Already. This game isn't the prettiest when it comes to textures, but like, I still want to eat most of the food. Why is this suddenly steel? Alright, oh. No, no. No. Come on now. I forgot to wiggle my mouse. Oh, I didn't go down this way. I did go down this way, I'm just dumb. That's a potion bottle. Yeah, that's where the potion was.
Boy, they really like the cake and the diamond. Someone's sniffing me. Over here. Hold on, map. We'll go back the way we came. Because I'm pretty sure now we do a vis a, a fucking what is it? I don't think we have to save the prisoner, but I think it helps us. Pick the berry. Okay. Whatever. We're going down to get prisoner. Okay, just double check. I haven't missed anything. Mouse, please. Okay, I don't see anything else. Let's go get him. Keep a bowl in your end table, sure. Fuck it. Cats of Skyrim. Oh, we're 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 hold on. Hold on. I just got a book called Cats of Skyrim. Of course, I'm reading it. Where is it? There it is.
and have been sent to this frigid wasteland to catalog and study any of its indigenous cats, which has so far been uneventful. After wandering, after months of wandering, I have so far encountered only some variations of the same ver basic species. In my travels, I have encountered several Khajiit outcasts from their clans that have taken up residence in Skyrim. They have probably been, prob they have been most unhelpful, probably for fear I'd expose their locations. I can't say I'm surprised that there are a few Khajiit here. That there are a few Khajiit here. It's cold and unwelcoming. Saber cats are basic giant cats that have evolved dangerously sharp front teeth. The average saber cat has a reddish brown fur, which it uses to blend, blend into gra grassy regions, but I have observed them sulking and sleeping on rocks, so I don't believe the fur is for camouflage. Primary attacks in this game are cannabis bites. Is that it? Aww. Upsetting. Ooh. Your boy about to learn some new enchantments. Walking the world. I'm uh, I'm good. I figured it out. Look. All right. Is there anything else up here? Roll of paper looks like a joint. I mean, don't do gr drugs, kids. Ooh, I have a level up. have enough. Do I have enough for two-handed? No, requires 40. What about... Lockpicking? Let me get the thing. Sick. Let's go. Oh, taking this quill. Shit. We're gonna use this chest to get rid of all the miscellaneous shit I don't need. I don't think I'm gonna get anything else. Let's go and interrogate a prisoner. It's time to murder a man, maybe. Ooh, garlic.
Just glass. Okay. Just glass. Oh, I remember those. Thankfully, triangles don't apply to this. Oh. Garlic. Is there, is there nobody else here? I could have sworn there were loads of you. Oh, wait. I do have this on easy. I might have had it on hard before. I am boogie. All right, Esburn. I remember you. <laughs> Come on, this way. I've seen the guards using here many bodies. There must be a way out. They grabbed me and ripped it. They seem to think I know something. I just keep asking you the same damn question. Oh. I damn well hope so. It helps to twist them up. After some old guy named Esburn, something to do with rabbits. I gathered it from watching a little clip in the Hall of Fame. I've seen a guy drifting here to the Temple of Hope. Mm. Not much to go on, but maybe they know where he lives or his name. They Wait. seem pretty excited about it. That's it. Now, let's get out of here. No problem. Thanks for springing me. Look me up in Rifton if you need to know. No problem. Have fun, bro. Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. No. Tyler! I'm dead already. Time for death. Where are you at? Ah, gross. Ooh, moss. Oh, yeah, let me just get right on that. I'll just be your someone to do something. Fuck you too, bro.
Yeah, no shit. I hate trolls. The freedom. Let's go find Delphine. My mouth still tastes weird. My, my mouth has tasted like the fluoride from the dentist all day. I shouldn't have chosen berry. It was really just a bad idea. But orange cream sickle sounded worse. Boy, they are not waiting up. Why does this look like Bleak Falls Barrow? You're welcome. Are we making? Are we waiting for? Where's the other one? I don't know where the other one is. Ooh, thistle. to eat more flowers to figure out what they do. This is in Jazz Bay? Dang. Where'd they go? No, not at all. Where's Delphine? Is this not where I'm supposed to meet her?
Ah. Map. Where am I going? Is that where it wants me to go? What is it? What is it? Where are you trying to take me here? I assume I'm going back to Solitude Stables. So we'll just go to Solitude, and then go to the stable. <laughs> dun, dun. Why are you so close to me? Bro, you are a close talker. Where am I meeting her? Okay, but where is she? You on the boat? Okay. Hot. Um. Where's Delphine? Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. I don't think I was supposed to go here. Where the fuck is Delphine? Ah. I'm good at I'm good at seeing things. I'm doing good. Doing good at that. Having working eyeballs, I've got that on lock. What happened? You just finally found them? take off this this hood I don't like this hood well, I do like this hood but not right now wrong impression Here. 
Thanks. Seem to think he's hiding out in Ripton. Probably down in the water. Or elsewhere. You'd better get to Ripton. Talk to Grim there. He's well connected. We'll get started on that. Oh, and when you find him, if you think I'm trouble, you may have some trouble getting out of here. <laughs> Check out the Mary Wells on the 30th of Feb. He'll know you're safe. Alright, what happened to the blades? Give me the long version. The rulers of the Asmeri Dynasty that used to be the Assyria provinces of Somerset, Ayrshire, and Galloway. The Thalmor take the earldom of the five lands to be their own. They believe they are the ones who rule the land for all time. For a century or more, the Thalmor have been chipping away at the land. The Valenders take the place. Then the province of Ulster. But even the Blades didn't see the great war coming. We underestimated. All right then. Can I use that? Thank you. Uh, we want this. Hell yeah. We want this. We want this. Sick. I love enchanting in this game. It's dead useful. We're going to learn the solo one and whatever happens to be on. I 
can find another novice hood, I think. But I want to keep this one until I can replace it. No, 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 no. Ooh. Got my Crocs. I wonder. Mm, these fortify two handed. Oh, that was a quick level up. Damn. Yeah. I need more soul gems. Alrighty, out we get. Oh, hello, chicken. They gotten rid of these guys yet? I think white run probably. Yeah, let's go to white run. I want to make potions and sell them. What took you to him? You got some good pieces out there if you're looking to buy. More inside. got some because I hope to be of use to your Lady Rainwind. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the, uh, Bald Roof Division. It's a surprise. That was in my first chapter, you know. Listen, could you take the sword from my back, prevent it as an issue? Here's a Jarl's sword. He'll know the right one to prevent it. Oh, nice. Nice. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Not bad. Reminds me what I paid for it. Father, in your wish, this looks good. You put time in. 
can be a blank that says yum in the middle. You want a few helpers? How about you make some arms? Let's start by planning some lovely rats. All right, then. Do I have... Thank you. Sure. Until next time. I need a stealing good. I do it with the armor at all. Yeah. I need some stealing goods. See, you got boats. Oh yeah, I can grab it from you. That should be enough for my armor and my axe. I need two more steel ingots. Two more. I don't really like the boots that I've grabbed. You look like you really need to pick up finer thread than went on here. Let's take a look. Two more. Mm -hmm. 
Most of our weapons are crap. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything that Suzu makes. Should be all I need. I am so stealing from the wizard. What do you need now? Why does it go up every time I get another stealing get? Ah. That's a good piece of that sword that I just got. More inside. Can I use this? Do I have anything to use with it? No, no, I already got it all in ingots. I don't claim to be the best smith. Cool, thanks. Hey, you. Okay. Me too. Okay. You know what's wrong with society in these days? Man says I'm too stubborn and proud. Hi, Arcadia. Uh, time to eat some plants. I just ate a saber cat tooth. I just.
Alright, okay, Katie. I can never tell if it's just the thing. Okay. I have several labels to fill. Take a look. Sure. First, look at all mine. What? Are you interested in potion and ingredients? Sure. What do you got? Farewell. See ya. Do I want to start rifting tonight? Look, come to Olara for a reason, did you? Sorry, but I must try to name my cat. Mm. Well, okay then. You won't shut up. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find a home. Not a mouse. Mm -hmm. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. Trinkets, odds and ends. That sort of thing.
a lot of gold left. Do do ya? You can't be shut up. But he likes you, bro. Alright. I'll do we will Wow. Rude, I think. Alright, I'll take the sword, and then I'll probably end for the night. I'm tired. I have spent too long awake. Where's that have need you? Present it to Balkan when his mood is ideal. Thank you. Please take these few coins for a service of mercy. Oh, thanks. Enjoy your visit to Dragon Leap. Uh, how much money do I have? I'm getting closer to actually having a house. Uh-huh, shut up, Lydia. I'm really tempted. I'm very tempted. Ah, no. Laptop turned off. Alright. We'll at least see if we can get to Repton. Via the stables. Thanks. Erected. I think it counts as one of the capitals. I'm pretty sure there's a Yarl. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Yeah, Riften. All about the long trip. Ooh. Pretty. I'm not gonna steal you, but you're pretty. Yeah. 
I'm pretty sure someone attacks me. You all really just said. You know, I'm beginning to respect you. Other than Mary, you seem to be the only other person I've met I know who would have protected me. Since we share the same opinion of them, let me warn you that there is certain other people in this guild, and you should be cautious. I've been adventuring across Cambriel since I was a freckled young woman, barely able to swing a blade. My travels have taken me from High Rock to Elendil, Elfir to Morrowind, and all points in between. Many years ago, I lost my blade when Ferris, Governor's son, killed me. I took it as a sign that I was wasting my days in search of vengeance. You and I are alike. You seek talent and great fortune, but for me, that's where the similarities end. Riften is my great beast to be slain, and my fortune comes from gratitude and trust. It's been difficult. I've taken the burden of the whole city's problems upon myself, and I keep running into impossible obstacles. Well, yeah. Corruption, lies, and deceit were the order of the day. If it wasn't for Aaron, the young man who saved my life, I think I'd already have given up long. Aaron who found me dying in the shadow of Lonely Grove. If he hadn't brought me here and nursed me back to health, I would have died. When my strength returned and he told me about the problems plaguing Riften, I decided fate brought me here for a reason. So I stayed. Mm. Raven Blackbriar, the matriarch of the family, was the son of everything that's wrong with this place. He's bribed countless officials had friends back in the Imperial City, and freely associates with Chief Gilly. I tried everything I can to protect the Prince of Riften from the Count, but to no avail. Today, even Imran Blackbriar, Raven's daughter, is the bane of her life. She likes to spend time down in Elegrin's Elixir, working on mechanics. Then you have Ken, Raven's son. Cold, rash, and heir to her empire. He follows her word like dog follows its owner. And finally, Tibi, the worst of all of them. She's in Riften Guild for Mary's sake. Safe travels. Thank you. Alright. And you apparently just like... You are, you already taught me told me a whole bunch that you just did not have to. Also I see dragons talk. Hello. Okay. Oh. 
Hold on. Okay. So the bee and the bard. Wow. I'm saying you've got the core of it, but you didn't earn the trust of my honor. You can tell. It's all about sizing up your men, the way they walk, the stuff they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Oh, but that's where you're wrong. Trust is my gift. Maybe you've not. bit of an errand to run, but I need an extra set of eyes. And in my line of work, heads down, I get paid. Think of it. I'm going to call you the Chancellor. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from the stronghold of the Holy Cross. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Brown Shea's coffin for that to know it. Huh? Sure. We've been compacted to make sure Brown Shea remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. No, I think you're not the dog's brother. We're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in prison for a long time. Okay. I don't care. What was my privilege? I don't have any privilege, Chief. So get out of my way. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to the Black Rock. Ah, right. I recently approached City Black Rock about finding a job. One of the finest students wants to sell. We agreed to sell. Uh -huh. I paid City half the cost of Rock up front, but the force had to deliver a million to the Rock up. City believes it's a dead end from the deal. It does not. I want you to take the city deal. Then I want you to join the Frost and the Lineage Temple and free the Black Sea. Ah, a real shame. You would have fit so nicely in there. Okay. I don't give. I don't give two shits about his offer. What's the other thing it wants me to do? I don't really want to become part of the Thieves Guild. Cold. You know what to say to me. Why are you carrying why are you following me around then? Okay. Okay, Locke. Ready to make some coin. Good. Wait until I start with the first one. Then show me what you're made of. Come on, Hotel. What is 
any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. Also, find the safe. Okay. Well, that didn't work out perfectly. Welcome to Ripton, home of the Peach Fury. Say the word and you'll get your full life. Then they stop you. Scare me. Keep it up. Why are they so happy about it? Why am I doing this again? Look, I'll make this simple. The group I represent has its home in the rat hole in East Lipton, a tavern called the Rat and Pond. Yeah. When you make up your mind, come find me there, and we'll talk about your future. Sure. Do I have to join the Thieves Guild just so you'll talk to me? This is bullshit. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna end for now because I'm tired. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Good night, Asha. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out.